Hello guys and welcome to a new video posted on my channel. We have a big announcement. I am starting a brand new tournament. So, as you all know, I have a tournament going on right now, which is the Battle Minigame Championship Season 2, and I've also got the building contest, which regularly happen. Um, but today, I am announcing something completely new, and I'm so, so excited to talk about this. So, you're probably wondering what this new tournament is, because the title of the video is just new tournament information. Well, this new tournament is going to be called the Game Showdown. So, well first of all I just want to say it's a little bit of play on words. So, there's basically the Game Showdown will have five games in it. But each of the games are based on real life game shows that you see on TV. So that's why it's called Game Showdown. So I wanted to do like, can you know, like Game Show and then Showdown. So Game Showdown. I'm, I'm not funny. Anyway. Uh, anyway, yeah, so that's so that's why it's called that. So yeah. Um, so there's five games in the tournament. Um, and then not everybody will play every game. But some people will play some games. Some people will play others. Um, and then, but I'll talk about that part later. Uh, but yeah. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's the that's what I wanted to say. So yeah, new tournament is the game showdown, and in this video, I will be talking about each game, how each game works, how the whole tournament is going to work, um, the, who the people in the tournament are so far, like who are confirmed, because some people uh, said they'd be in it, some people aren't yet. So yeah. Um, so yeah. So let's not waste any more time. And let's um, talk about the very first game of the game showdown, which is Deal or No Deal. So Deal or No Deal is the first game that will be in the game showdown. Well, it's not. there's no specific order of the games, but this is just the first one I'm talking about. So... Deal or No Deal is uh, if you don't if you have, and um, if you haven't seen the game shows of these uh, then um, th then it's good to like listen because this is because um, I'll be explaining each, uh, how like each game show works obviously so yeah um, this is how Deal or No Deal works so it's a completely luck based game really uh, but it's also a bit of uh, how much you want to take risks and stuff so yeah. Basically uh, there are oh, oh yeah I forgot to say about the game showdown so. Um, people will be in different games, not every person will be in every game, but some people will be in a few, uh, some people will be in other ones, and, so, and stuff like that. And it's going to be like BMGC Blitz, where the points you get from each game, for each person, their point, each point, each person's points from each game that they get, will be added up to like a final count for them of points, and then whoever gets the most points at the end of all the game shows, uh, wins the tournament. So that's how, uh, the game showdown will work. So yeah, and in the, obviously in each game there are points, so... This is how the point system works for Dolo Nodo. So basically, there are 22 like boxes, basically. And behind each box is a point value, ranging from a point value of 1 all the way to 250,000 points. So basically, the higher the better, obviously. So basically, you have 22 boxes. Uh, at the very start of the game, you choose one box to keep until the very end of the game with, with that point value inside. But you don't know what point values are in what boxes, even the one you choose at the start. Um, anyway, so then what you do is you choose some boxes to take away and it's preferable to choose the lower point boxes because if you choose the higher ones, it means that it will lower your, uh, it will lower your, um, your average um, point deal that you'll get. So uh, that was a bit, that's a bit weird at first when I'm, when, I, when I'm explaining it like that, but let me explain. So basically, um, every round you choose a certain amount of boxes and the amount of boxes you choose lowers every time. So first you will choose five. No, wait, is it six or five? Uh, at first you either choose six or five, then you choose the lower and then you choose the lower one each time. You choose, so like five, four, three, two, and then one. And basically after each time you've chosen the amount of boxes, so let's say you choose five boxes, then you will get a deal of an amount of points whether you want to accept that amount or leave it. And it will be the average of all the points that you have left. So let's say you have like 4 points left. You have like 10, 20, 30 and 40. That means the average of that is uh, is like is like 
uh, 25 because that's like halfway between it then you'll get probably a deal of like 25 because it's halfway between and it's up to you whether you want to take that deal and don't be risky or be risky and carry on and try to lose the lower boxes but if you lose the higher ones then you'll get a lower point like um lower point average so this game is all about luck and risk really um and obviously you want to walk away with the highest amount of money possible uh, well, not money, sorry, points. Um, so, yeah, that's how Dolan and Oda works. Um, if you guys have any questions about Dolan and Oda, then put them in the comments below and I'll answer for them for you. Same for every game, but I'll just say at the end of uh, every explain and explanation. Anyway, so, yeah, that is Dolan and Oda. That is the first game. So, now, let's see the second game, which is Quiz Masters. So, Quiz Masters is... Um, it's the game show based off of The Chase, which is uh, the UK's biggest game show, um, like most popular game show, and it's, it's aired all across the world. So you may have heard about this one. Um, so basically, um, this is Quiz Masters based off of The Chase. So this is how Quiz Masters works. So, oh, I forgot to say, um, Deal or No Deal is a one-player game, uh, and for each game, it's a different amount of players. So for Deal or No Deal, I completely forgot to say that it is one player. So sorry about that. Um, so yeah. And then this game, Quiz Masters, this is a free player game. So, um, but each person will do the exact same thing first. So this is how uh, Quiz Masters works. So one, so a person will take, uh, they'll go uh, in turns. So the first thing that the person has to do is um, they have 60 seconds to answer as many questions as uh, as they can that I give them. So, and also um, all of the questions in this game and also another game, but I'll talk about that later, are all like Minecraft based and in the community based. They're not really just like about random stuff. They're at, they actually are about Minecraft and the community and stuff like that. So you will probably know about them or nearly get them. I don't know. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so first they have to do is, um, uh, the, so the person has to answer as many questions as they can in 60 seconds. So yeah, all right, yeah. And then they go onto the main board. So on the main board, they start at a certain point with the amount of points that they got. And uh, for, each, for each question that they got correct, it will be worth 1,000 points. So let's say they got five questions correct in the 60 seconds. It means that they get 5,000 points. Then with the main board, they start at the main uh, place, um, and which is where their 5,000 is. And then they have to answer, um, I think it's, uh, well, they have to answer a certain amount of que uh, questions, uh, which are like, which will have three multiple choices to get to the end. So they have to answer, one, two, three, four, five. So yeah, um, if they start at the main point, then they will have to answer five questions correctly, uh, which are all five multiple choice questions with three possible answers. If they get if they get one right, they move along. If they get one wrong, they stay where they are. Um, and also, um, if they want to be risk, if they want to be risky or not risky, they would have to answer four questions correct. But it means that whichever they got, it would be divided by 10. So let's say they did get their 5,000, but they didn't want to take the risk of getting 5,000. They wanted to just get to the final. Because uh, if you get all the que if you get to the end uh, with his, with uh, the questions correct uh, before getting caught, I'll talk about that after, uh, then you'll go into the final. Um, but if you're not, then you'll be uh, out of the game. But like I said, I talked about it after. Um, so yeah, so you could go for the lower one. Which means, uh, yeah, if you went for 5,000, if you went for the lower one, uh, it would means that you would only get 500 if you went to the end. So it's less points, but it's more likely that you'll get to the end. And, uh, but if you want to be more risky, uh, you will have to answer one extra question, so 6 instead of 5. But your point value will times by 10, and it will go to... Uh, whatever that is. So let's say you go for 5,000, it will turn into 50,000 points. Uh, but yeah, that's only if uh, you can get to the end. So this is what I mean by get to the end without being caught. So there is a randomizer and it is a one in seven chance that um, nothing happens. But the re but, uh, yeah, one in seven chance that nothing happens, which is good. 
But if, if so, that's that's if like a green concrete block comes out because there's two green concrete in the dispenser and the rest is red. If you get a green concrete, nothing happens. If a red concrete comes out of the dispenser, which is more likely to happen, then one of the redstone lamps um, at the uh, at the beginning will la will go on. And basically, it starts. If you're going for the main area, where you do, if you're going for the, if you're starting at the main point where you just go from the amount of points that you got, so let's say you got five thousand. If you start from there, if you get three questions wrong and they get three questions right, like if the randomizer, like um, if it gets to you with three things right, it, uh, it means that you will be out. So if the randomizer lamps land or land on your position, then you'll be out. So you have to make sure you get, you have to make sure you answer correctly as much as you can before the randomizer gets you out so yeah sorry that took a bit of a while to explain but that's basically how it works um yeah so that's what uh, that, those questions will be multiple choice you can answer or you can either answer a b or c um so yeah and then and then the other two people will go and then who which and then if it's one person who gets to the end then the game will just um well, all right, I'm going to be honest. I haven't worked out what the final was going to be yet. So I'm not going to make it up on the spot. But you guys will see what the final of this of this game show will be uh, once I um, once once that episode actually, you know, comes out. Um, so, yeah, that was uh, the Quiz Masters. I'm very sorry that I took, that it took so long to explain. Um, but, yeah, that's, if you have any questions about that, put that in the comments below. Um, I'm very sorry about the way I explained it. I did awful. Uh, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, like if, so, Dylan Odo is more of a luck and risky based game, whereas this is based on knowledge and how much you know about um, about what I'm going to ask you because it's literally called Quiz Masters. Anyway, let's stop talking about that. Uh, we've got three more games to talk about. We're already way too far into this video, and I'm so sorry. Let's not waste any more time and let's talk about the third game, which is Tenable. So Tenable is um, so it's a bit like Quiz Masters and another quiz space game which I'll talk about later. But the questions asked are actually asked in a different way. So um, same again, there are three players for this game, and it's the same. It's the same again where they each take turns, and basically each person will be given a different question, but the question only has 10 possible answers and you have to guess as many of those answers as you can um so yeah each person will go up and they'll um and there are 10 item frames on the board and you have a chest full of paper and there's also an anvil so you can write down one of your answers and put it on the item frame if it's correct um then you can keep it there but if it's wrong then it will be taken away um so you have to so to get through to the final you have to answer at least five of the you have to give at least five of the answers um but if you and then and then you'll get 1000 points going through to the uh to the final but if you want to be risky and answer more if you know any more then you can ask more but then you'll get higher like then you'll get um higher uh points for the final so um I don't know the exact values um, for the last five, but I think the final one, if you get the last one re correct, then you'll go through with 50,000 if you get all 10 answers correct. But yeah, um, so you'll get given a question which only has 10 possible answers. So for example, uh, it could be, what are all of the items on this certain creative row? So for example, on a, in creative mode, uh, when you're looking at all of the items, um, each row has 10 items. So one of the questions could be, for example, what are all of the 10 items on this specific row on, of the creative menu, for example? Or it could be like, um, I don't know, it could be, it really could be anything really, like uh, name all the people who have this, but it's only, it has to be exactly 10. So yeah, that's how Tenable works. Um, and then each person will take their turn going going up and answering. Uh, same again, I don't really know how the final is going to work with all the different player amounts, but uh, you guys will see when that uh, video comes out. Um, and then, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of like how Tenable works. Uh, same again, if you have any questions about that, uh, then you can um, uh, answer in the... Then you can uh, put them in the comments below, and I'll answer them for you. So, yeah, that is Tenable. 
Uh, quite simple, really. So, yeah. Um, let's not waste any more time. And uh, let's see what the fourth game is. And the fourth game is called Diamond Jewels. So, Diamond Jewels is... I renamed it uh, for this. And the proper name of the, um, the game show is called Golden Balls. Uh, but I just renamed it to Diamond Jewels to make it more like minecraft E. I guess, Minecraft-y. Um, so yeah, this is Diamond Jewels, and this one is probably going to be a while for me to talk about, because I have to talk about each uh, round. So basically, um, in Diamond Jewels, there are four players, so this is the only game where there are four players. Um, and then the first round, there are four pl four players. Third round, they will go down to three, and then the third and four, four then, then the fourth, uh, sorry, oh, I can't talk. First round, four players. Then one will be kicked out, and it will go down to three players for the second round. Then for the third round, and also the fourth round, and the fourth round will be the final round, uh, there are two players. So this is how Diamond Jewels work. There are a certain amount of Diamond Jewels that are put uh, in, I guess, like the dispenser at the start. Uh, there is also one Emerald Jewel and four Cursed Jewels. And each player will be given all of these jewels, but they will get, they'll be given four each at the start. These could be cursed ones. They could be these could be like the regular diamond ones. They could be could be or it could be the one emerald. So basically, all you have to know right now is if you get a cursed jewel, it's really bad. So you don't want to be given a cursed jewel, basically. But if you get an emerald jewel, that's really good. And then um, with the with the diamonds, what with the diamond ones? Those are the ones that actually have the point values, and those point values um are between one and one hundred thousand so those are all of the points that you could get on the diamonds uh and i think there's 25 possible diamonds but you can only get uh 13 in uh in a game um no wait well 13 at the start and then wait is it 13 i don't know no it's 11 oh sorry no it's it's 11 diamond jewels with points that go into the first round four cursed jewels and one emerald and then for the second round you get one extra cursed and then one and then two extra regular diamonds and then the third round you get one extra cursed. but anyway this is how diamond jewels work for the first round each person will show two of their jewels that they have at the front these could be this could be the emerald this could be cursed jewels or it could be just regular regular diamond jewels with the point values it's preferable to have the high point values and also the emerald ones it's quite bad to get the low diamond diamond amounts but it's the, it's the worst thing to get the cursed ones and I'll, like i said i'll explain why the cursed is really bad and the emerald is really good at the end basically um then yeah so they so yeah they have two at the front which they'll show every one which they have at the front it's and it's preferable to have good ones at the front good jewels at the front then they will see that what two they have on the back. So let's say you have, let's say someone who has like an emerald and a, like a really high point value, for example. So, so someone has really good jewels on their front. Then at their back, let's say they also have really good stuff, then they could say what that is. But if they have bad stuff, then they could admit to it or they could lie. Because with the front stuff, they have to tell the truth uh, and it will be shown what they have at the front anyway. But then they all will discuss what they all have on the back and they are able to lie about what they have on the back. Because if they have bad, for example, you might need to lie if you have bad jewels at the front to persuade the others to keep you in. Because at the end of the first round, there will be a vote to kick someone out. So... Then, so yeah, the people will discuss, and they have, and they will probably be discussing on who they want to keep in, depending on three certain things, which are who you can trust, um, who has like the high diamond amounts, and also the emerald, and who is bringing in the cursed jewels, because all of those are really bad. So yeah, they'll discuss who they want to bring through, and then one person will be voted out, and so not only that person will be voted out, but also the jewels. Those jewels that that person had will be taken out of the game. Then the then there will be the second round, and it will be three people, and each person gets five jewels this time, but still two at the front, which everybody will see. And then they have to discuss which ones they have at the back. And same again, you might need to lie about which ones you have to persuade the others to keep you in the game, but you don't really need to persuade them if you have really good ones at the front. Um, and then same again, uh, they they will discard, they will decide who they want to kick out of the game. Then the second round, 
um, there will be 11 jewels remaining, and it will be the 10 jewels that uh, the two remaining people who survived the second round uh, brought in. So it will be the five jewels they had each, and then there will, and then there will also be one cursed jewel added. Then they will be playing the third round, which is bin or win. They have to choose five jewels to win for the jackpot for the for the amount of points they win at the end and they have to choose six to bin so first they choose to bin then win then bin then win and then and then that and then it goes to the end the uh and then the jewels that they choose will be their jackpot so let's say you got like five different point value jewels and each one has a different amount those amounts will be added up to that final jack point point amount and that point and that amount will be um, what you get at the end. And this is where the cursed and the emerald jewel comes in. So, uh, the so with the amount of cursed jewels that you have brought in from the previous rounds, plus the one extra, well, plus the one added for the third round, are important. If you get a cursed jewel before you get any regular point value uh, jewels, nothing will happen. However, if you get a point value, so let's say you get like a point value of like. Uh, of like 10,000 for one diamond and then you get you get that first for example then after that you get a cursed if that happens if a cur if you get a cursed after a point value it will divide the point value you get by 10 so if you had 10,000 and then you get a cursed it will go down to 1,000 it will divide it by 10 this is what the cursed jewels are very bad because it decreases your point value for the end but the emerald jewel is the best jewel in the game other than uh, maybe other than the high ones because this is where the emerald jewel comes in if you get the emerald jewel it will do the opposite it will times the uh it will times the amount from the points that you had so far tight with times it by 10 so let's say once again you had 10,000 then you get an emerald jewel it will times it by 10 that to get you 100,000 points so this is why the emerald jewel is really good and why you need to take it through to the final if you can so that's how bin or win works and then we'll go into the fourth and final round which is split or steal and you may have heard this uh, in some places before so this is how split or steal works with the uh, jackpot that you get uh, for the game uh, which you earned for the previous round so let's say your jackpot uh, with the two people let's say it's just a hundred thousand points for example um, basically, um, uh, yeah, basically, um, they will, sorry, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, uh, they have a choice to either split or still. If both of them choose split, they will both, uh, win 50,000 points each. They will both win half of the jackpot each, whichever that is. So, yeah, let, let, yeah let's say it's 100,000. They would win 50,000 each. If it's like 1,000, then they win 500 points each and so on. Um, so, yeah, if they both, that's if they both choose split. If one of them chooses split and one of them chooses steal, the person who chooses steal will win all of the points for the jackpot. So if it is 100,000, they will win 100,000 points. And the person who chose split will be going uh, with nothing. They will win nothing. But if both people choose steal, then they will both go with nothing. So it's up to you if you want to risk it and choose steal and either lose, lose it all or take all of it. Or you could split or and um, potentially lose it all or get half of the points but at the same time the other person would get would get half so it's it's completely up to you whether you want to risk it or get some points so that is how split or still works so that is diamond jewels that is how that works very sorry for explaining it for a long time again um but yeah you guys will see when the actual videos for the games come out but like i said i'll talk about that later um anyway uh, that is diamond jewels and now we're going to be talking about the final game which some of you may know, which is, who wants to be a millionaire? So the final game of the tournament is who wants to be a millionaire? So this is a one player game, just like Dylan and Deal. And this is how who wants to be a millionaire works. Probably the most simple, simplest game out of all the five games. So this one may take me long to explain it all. So, um... The person who is in this game, because it's one person, uh, they will be given 15 questions in a row. 
and if they get a question right they will move on to the next one if they get a question wrong they will be kicked out but if they decide to don't answer the question and take away the amount of points that they got then that's then the game will stop uh, like just like that and they'll get the amount of points so this is how who wants to be a millionaire works so there are like kind of like three sets of questions easy medium and hard um and all right so this is how it works so um if you get the first question correct you'll get 100 points then you'll get 200 for the second one 300 for the third four sorry 500 for the fourth question and then you get 1000 points if you get the fifth question correct so and every fifth question that you get right you are guaranteed to go go away with at least that amount because it's kind of like a checkpoint if that makes sense so let's say um in the first five questions you get a question wrong you will um you will go away with nothing because you have no checkpoint and you will go away with no points if you are in the medium set of questions and you get one wrong then you will go away with 1000 points because that's like the checkpoint for the for the like, um for like the previous checkpoint um and then you if you're on the hard questions and you get a question wrong then you will go away with 32000 points which is still a lot of points but you could have got a lot more um but anyway so yeah, um, so I said the amount of points for the easy questions. Then for the medium questions, if you get the sixth question correct, which is the first of the medium, you get 2,000, then 4,000, then 8,000, then 16,000, and then 32,000. Like I said, that's the checkpoint. So if you get to the 32,000, which is the, if you answer the tenth question correctly, then you will guarantee go away with at least 32,000. Then the hard questions. If you get the first qu hard question correct, which is the eleventh question, you will get 64,000 points, then 125,000 points, then 250,000 points, and then 500,000 points. And then if you get all 15 questions correct, you will go away with 1 million points, which is the most amount you can get in any of the games, I think. No, actually, if you get lucky in Diamond Jewels, if you get the Emerald after the 100,000, which is at least a million, then you can get others. But anyway... That's quite unlikely to, unlikely to happen. So, who wants to be a millionaire? You can get some serious points if you know your Minecraft uh, and community knowledge and stuff like that. So, yeah. That's quite simple about who wants to be a millionaire works. But, something else, uh, you have free lifelines. Which means that it will be... you got, like, three different uh, things which will help you answer questions that you are stuck on. Um, so, the three lifelines are... The first one is a 50-50... It means that two of the... Oh yeah, I forgot to say, sorry. Uh, for each of the questions, uh, you will get four possible answers for each question. Um, and like I said, each question gets harder as it goes along. Um, so yeah, uh, if you choose a 50-50 lifeline, then two of the answers shown which are both wrong will be taken away. Then you will be left with one wrong answer and the remaining right answer um so yeah then you have like a 50 50 to choose whether you want to risk it or not if you don't know what it is um so yeah that's one of the lifelines uh one of the other lifelines is something called a double dip and the double dip basically means it's a bit like 50 50 but it's a lot different um you can um so it's the same again where uh it's up to you where oh uh, yeah uh, also um, you can use multiple lifelines on the same question, except from double dip. You can only use double dip once on one question. Um, and, and here's what double dip is. So, uh, you have four possible answers left, because you won't have used any other lifelines. Um, if you use double dip, uh, you have first you can give one answer which you think could be correct. Um, and then if it's right, then you will just move along as normal. So that's kind of a waste of a double dip. Uh, but if you get it wrong, uh, you don't go out, um, but uh, but here's what happens. So if you get it wrong, then you only have three answers left. Then you have then you have then you have to choose one of the three remaining answers because this is the only lifeline where you have to walk away with the amount you got after uh, it's done. Because basically, with who wants to be a millionaire, uh, let's say you're stuck. Let's say that you are on the one million dollar one million. Uh, point question so on the very on the 15th question and you don't know what it is but you would have earned 500,000 points and like I said if you get it wrong you will go away with the 32,000 which is the check which is the previous checkpoint of points however 
if you get it right, you will go on to the next question and you will win the amount for that question. So you would have won a million if you were on the 500,000 question. But you could, it's up to you where if you don't want to answer and you think you'll get it wrong, then you could walk away. You could stop with the amount of points that you would got. So let's say you are on the 500,000 question, uh, earning a million if you get the next one right. If you get the one you're on right, then you could walk away with 500,000 points, uh, which means that, uh, it's it's a safe option if you don't if you get it wrong then you go down but you could have got higher so yeah that's how it works but with double dip if you choose to do it you cannot walk away after you do it you have to answer which is why you get two correct so double dip is really risky um, so yeah that's what double dip is um, so quite similar to 50 50 but a lot more riskier and then the third and final lifeline is um, it's so it's so in the original Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, there's something called phone a friend where you get to ask where you get to phone one of your friends. You have 30 seconds to ask them the question and then see if they know the correct answer. But I wanted to do something similar. So this is this is my version, and it's called add friend to call. So I'll be in a VC with the other person throughout this game, uh, whoever that is. But one of their lifelines is to bring one of their friends, whoever they want to bring, into the VC for 30 seconds so they can ask them uh, the question and then uh, they have 30 seconds to answer. If they don't know, then it's a bit of a waste. But if they do know, then it will be good. So let's say uh, it's a question based on uh, Redstone. Then you could ask one of your friends who knows a lot about Redstone. Uh, you could ask that person specifically to bring them in, but you can only ask one person and it and for one time only, because each lifeline can only be used once. So you have to use them wisely. Um, so yeah, uh, that is who wants to be a millionaire, which is me finishing off talking about the five games. So those are the five games: Deal or No Deal, Quiz Masters, Tenable, Diamond Jewels, and Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. So now we're going to talk about the tournament like and the information and stuff around it specifically so first of all i'm gonna get this out of the way very sorry about this part but this gate this tournament for each of the games requires you to use a microphone for definite which means only people who use microphones or who are willing to use microphones just for the tournament only those people can be in the tournament so sadly for example, people like the troller or people like, um, uh, who else doesn't use a mic? I don't know. Other people who don't use mics, maybe Witherstorm or something like that. I don't know who uses mic. Anyway, it doesn't matter. People who don't use mics are not allowed to be in the tournament, sadly. That is the, I really, I genuinely am sorry about that, but you can't really be in these game shows if you don't really have a microphone. That's not really how it works. Um, anyway. So you have to have a microphone to be in the tournament. There are a few people who are already co who are already confirmed to be in the tournament, and right now I actually don't have a maximum amount of players because I'm still setting up the amount of games and the amount of players who needs to be in it. So if you want to be in it and you have a mic, you have to have a mic to be in it. Remember, then message me on PlayStation Four. My username is Monko Media, or you can uh, or you could comment down below. It's up to you. Uh, but please let me know if you do want to be in because I do I would like a lot of people in this. I'm really looking forward to this. Um, so yeah, I think that might be it. Uh, the tournament will start within the next two weeks. Uh, each game will be in a video. Um, and they'll and not no, by the way, uh, there'll be more than one of each game. It won't be like for example just one deal or no deal game and that's it. No no no, there'll be more than one of each game. I think for I don't think for each game there'll be the exact amount of games played for each one maybe I'll, tr I'll try i'll see what i can do but it all depends on how many people join the tournament and i really really want to get a lot of people in this so please please join please please join me please yeah um <laughs> girls cringe anyway that is the game showdown information. I did not think that this video would be nearly 35 minutes long. Very sorry about that. But yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys want to see more content from me, then you can subscribe to the channel, like this video, and also hit the bell to get notified whenever a new video or stream is announced. Uh, if you guys have any more questions about the game showdown, then either comment down below uh, or 
message me on PlayStation 4. My username is Media, And do the same. If, and then either message me or comment down below if you want to be in the tournament. I really, really want people in this tournament. I'm really, really excited for it. Um, and I think that might be everything. So, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.